Okay, here we go. Episode 11. And, uh, Duronki. So we got this uh, screen done for the deployment stuff on the last stream, and this came out real well. I'm looking at it again, still looks good. Yeah. So the first thing, I guess we'll hit the stats, yeah? So let's see, what do we need to do? We could probably need to have the list of what's in there. It's gonna be these five things. I'm gonna bring up some notes, and we'll take some notes before we jump in. CPU, swap, disk remaining, which isn't, yeah, I guess you could map it. You could, uh, no, why not? RAM and network. Out of these ones, is there one that we want to focus on as the the blown up one? Uh, I would probably say CPU or RAM, depending on the type of application. Each one of these stats is basically, it's got like same thing. It's got a current value, a max value, and it's got a history of values. That's what we need to map. That's what we see anyways. So on this screen, one selected stat at a time, a list of graphs, what's the time period, a services breakdown. So you should be able to say like, it, it shouldn't be too hard to say what components eating what for RAM and CPU. I think the service breakdown will be probably the more valuable piece in this. Um, especially when you're trying to understand the spikes in your RAM and CPU. Okay, so we're gonna do a modal here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So probably want to do a title group up on top. Yeah, you could you could use the same pattern we do on the 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 big screens where we have like the app name, the Reddit portion. Mm, yeah, and bring it down and sort of yeah. Yeah, let's try that first. It's not bad. I like the dark blue. The, the the light blue text throws it off a little bit, but it's not it's not terrible. You know what's crazy is in identity, this worked. So we were doing identity work around, but maybe it wasn't that exact color. Let me open it up. Because I had done... Um, oh, jeez. Oh, there she went. What was that? We just lost the file. Oh, no. Is that, that That's going to be it. It must have, I would really hope that auto saved at some point. Well, time to add a different Oh, icon. it didn't even auto save. It didn't even auto save. Crap. Oh, come on. <laughs> Crap. Um, okay. Uh, well, you know, it happens. <laughs> it does happen. Yep, it happens. You just have on. to bite the bullet. I find that the closer you are to a deadline, the more like Illustrator picks up on it. There'll be somehow knows and it just says, okay, well, closer you are to like a time constraint the more we it's those tachyons man they're, <laughs> the they're, tachyons. They're cause, they'll cause they'll, they'll cause you some glitches in the system tachyons. yeah okay um all right so you've selected cpu now over here we're gonna break that down for you so probably i'm just gonna box this out a little bit so time controls yeah you let me know where you think those could go so I actually have a suggestion for you. You need to be throwing it at me. So what I would so what I would do is is still have the twenty one by nine window in line with just the first row, so it's sitting underneath it, and then you have essentially a, a band on the right hand panel um, where the label is, where you can add your time controls to. So you you kind of you keep this whole thing like this, and then over here on the right, ah, control. Yep. Time Cop, great movie. And then down here in the bottom is where we do like, hold on, I'm gonna sketch this. Cur, max, and uh, resource breakdown. Or would that be almost like reversed? Yeah, I'd flip them. We have these little guys here, which didn't come with their little blue tops. Thank you. Thank you for that illustrator. We need to use that symbol to do this. So I'm just going to nuke this. I, we made a symbol to make it really easy to make those. Graphy boy. There we go. Yup. There you are, Graphy boy. Now we just <laughs> stretch this up and use a million of those. Okay. So I'm looking at this. This looks horrible. What do we think? Yes, is I think the, I think the, <laughs> the graph is too large. <laughs> is it too large or is it just also the... Is it just the data set is not even close to real? Okay, let me 
just redo this and we're going to do larger blocks too i think that one pixel line in this that might be that might be a bit too incremental yeah like i wonder yet too if in reality i shouldn't be randomizing this right i should probably just be like grabbing a section yeah that, i think that looks much better it looks more realistic right yeah so it's let me definitely get these, more realistic sample yeah let me get the hashes in this right now is my jam jam i love doing graphs i don't know why but like illustrator just didn't want to put that dot right there it was like no we don't need this one this particular one in the middle that's weird uh time control yeah something's weird about it and i think what's weird about it is this this line it's like we started to do a thing here and it didn't work so here's my thought up this goes you know there was a point in here where i think i saw a solution in my mind i don't know if you're gonna like it but i saw it it was clear as day hold your horses things are about to get crazy oh let's do it do that in xd haters exactly <laughs> <laughs> what's the css for that i don't know okay so if we have cpu here would we want this to be a permanent piece the resource usage break resource resource usage breakdown um because here's what we could do we could make that a permanent piece down here so the only thing that we'd be missing here is the max 100 percent thing so can we go let's just cover for that one case right so if we can do that, we can remove max and current from the right hand side here. You're gonna see the currents here. You're gonna see the maxes here in terms of like the percentages. Then over here on the graph, we will just highlight this boy. Okay, so then we have resource usage, the resource, re, re, we got the breakdown of the RAM and the CPU down here. That'll persist. Um, this time gauge thing, might not make sense down here so we've got sort of like all this space okay we have a lot of real estate like here yeah there is there's we there's a, a ton here so we could do this and expose a menu and just like run this down as buttons oh yeah no i like that i like that idea you we'll try do that? like a like a column layout right there yeah, yeah. yep 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 uh something about this doesn't feel right like i think we're inventing a pattern that's never been used before in the history of doing this <laughs> is that a bad thing yeah there's plenty of examples of this kind of stuff you know and like we have taken we've done it the, the dumbest way <laughs> <laughs> i i i mean worst case scenario just do the drop down just keep it as a drop down yeah let's just do that oh we should probably design in the other piece and then make that call i guess I have basically stolen this design directly from Nanobox. Um, I mean, it's a table. It's not really. It's <laughs> yeah. not really a, like a patented thing here. This is a table. You don't know. <laughs> we'll get it's get not fancy. <laughs> um, so we also want to do like a little graphy boy over here. Do we need a graph? I think we just move on. No, I don't. I mean, the, I think the percentages are just fine. I don't see any issue with that at all. Yeah, I give this some space that if this needs to get less. Yeah. And what you could do, um, since this resource reached out usage breakdown is consistent thing you could even add a, a new column for last poll time what's last poll time just to say when so like the last time the data was actually collected from something it actually doesn't even have to be a new column you can just have it one time sure like it and then we'll just uh timestamp this sucker. that way you europeans can't get angry at me look at that <laughs> so true sure that Good looks okay light. Yeah. Well, Scott, that was a good stream, man. Uh, I'm going to end it right now, and I'll see you guys later in the week. Catch you later.